This video covers the test method ASTM C393 for core shear properties of sandwich constructions by Beans Lecture. The standard covers the determination of the core shear properties, such as core shear strength and shear modulus, of flat sandwich constructions subjected to flexure in such a manner that the applied forces produce curvature in the sandwich facing planes. Multiple loading configurations are permissible by ASTM C393, with the standard configuration being two beam supports and a single loading point mid-span between the two supports. Any other configuration is considered to be non-standard. The specimen utilized for verification of NTA's ongoing certification program is a 6-inch wide SIP beam. The depth is the same as the thickness of the original SIP panel from which it was cut. The foam at the ends of the specimen are routed out and dimensional lumber end plates are installed to simulate top and bottom plates typically used in construction. The test configuration consists of two beam supports separated by a distance that is ratiometric to the thickness of the panel with one and a half inch wide flat bottomed plates on top, each with a V-groove on the other side to allow the specimen to rotate. The load is applied through a single curved loading anvil that can both pivot and shift side to side to not over restrain the specimen's natural movement. Prior to testing a sample, its physical dimensions are documented and it is allowed to condition at standard temperature and humidity until it reaches moisture content equilibrium. Once conditioned, the specimen is placed and aligned in the loading fixture. A digital dial gauge is positioned on the underside of the sample directly under the loading anvil to measure the deflection of the beam. This gauge is placed in a steel tube to protect it from possible damage should the specimen catastrophically fail. The sample is loaded continuously until failure is observed at a displacement controlled rate that produces failure between 3 to 6 minutes. Load and deflection data are recorded continuously throughout the test. This data is used as evidence of compliance for a product certification client to a product certification program. The data is compared to data generated during the client's qualification testing and is monitored by NTA through periodic verification testing as part of the certification program. Thank you for watching.